pay attention, Brian. I'm going to give you the tip of the day. Um, so when I build a beam for a deck, I always build it at least two feet bigger than the actual structure needs to be. And the reason I do that is so when we're done squaring, we have lots of slack on either end of the beam. It gives us some play and some ability. So, for example, if we end the deck here, we think we're good. Then we end up squaring it to the house and we need to slide it over and there's no beam left. Catastrophic. Make a new beam, cost you hundreds of dollars, labor, time, materials, maybe thousands in, in total honesty. Now, look here, we land it here, we move it over, we have lots of extra slack, then we mark it, then we cut it. Done. Always work smarter, not dumber.